caterpillars of the white line sphinx moth, member of a family called Sphingidae, member of a group of moths called hawk moths, hummingbird moths, sphinx moths. All those names have particular meanings. These caterpillars were captured in the desert on members of the evening primrose family. Camasonia californica, these three caterpillars were eating. Brought them back into town, and those desert plants aren't common here. So they're happy campers if you feed them fuchsias, which from a domesticated garden are fairly easy to find. These don't look like they're that interested in the food plant. They're interested in escaping. And actually in the desert, they will go from one side of the road to the other. They'll travel quite a distance along the ground looking for food. In really good years in the desert, when the deserts are green, these caterpillars just cover acres and acres and literally make the highways slick with their squished bodies of cars that would run over them. The white line sphinx moth caterpillars are with little horns on their tail end. The caterpillar is sometimes called a hornworm. That looks kind of scary. Looks like the little spine could hurt, but it's really quite flexible, and it's only there for show. If you look at this caterpillar right here, he's eating on the petal of that fuchsia. Their little jaws work side by side, our jaws, of course, work up and down. It's this stage of the moth's life cycle that most of the eating is done, and they are world-class eating machines. Chlorophyll is consumed literally by the tons by desert caterpillars. They'll double their size each week, maybe two, possibly three weeks, they then will pupate. The caterpillars then will slow down, wiggle into the dirt, and produce a chrysalis. This species does not build a cocoon around the chrysalis. You can probably see six little legs in front. This is not speeded up photography. He's really chowing out. This caterpillar is doing what good caterpillars do, and that is to eat lots and fast. Getting ready for its next metamorphic stage, the pupa stage. Right now, as a larva, its main job is to eat, get fat, and prepare for the transformation that occurs in the chrysalis. The transformation, in this case, is from a worm-like structure like this to a flying machine, the white line sphinx moth. 